Hi there, I'm Rod with Collective2. In this quick hit success with C2 video for the professional plan, we're going to talk a little bit about how to find and then resell strategies on C2 on your professional plan. There's a couple steps to this, and I'm going to use different browsers. I'll talk about that in just a moment. For now, I'm actually logged in as an administrator on a sample professional plan, VPT Live. Uh, logged in again as an administrator, so you'll probably know by now if you've watched some of the other training videos the best way to get to the admin areas you could go to administrator professional plan or you can always click the gear down here in the lower left hand corner okay so we're going to go over to strategies the strategy tab and we're going to click on manage reselling is the manage reselling tab and this is where we're actually able to find strategies on Collective 2 and bring them over to our professional plan, rename them, and mark them up. We'll go back to the screen in just a little bit. But first, it's important to understand how to actually research and find strategies that you might want to consider making available on your professional plan. We call this reselling. You can both resell uh, Collective 2 strategies as well, of course, provide your own strategies. Those are called your own strategies. We talk about that in a separate video. So in order to make this makes sense the easiest thing to do in fact it's kind of a requirement is you're going to have to create a separate login over on the collective 2 site itself so here if I go to general account settings the user that I'm logged in on my professional plan is actually Rod at Virtual Prop Trader. You can see first name, last name can be the same, but Rod at Virtual Prop Trader. That's who I'm logged in here. That's where I'll actually set up my managed reselling. But to do my research again, I need to do that over on Collective 2. Now, if you want to have two instances open at the same time, even though they're different logins, it's usually better to use different browsers. So in this case, I'm logged in on Firefox, and I'm going to click right here, and I'm logged in to C2. Again, let's look at this, Rod Casilli logged in over here, but here I have a different email address, Rod at Collective2. So the email address is the, is the key account for this. Now, in order to keep both browsers open, as I mentioned, this is in Chrome, and then over here, I'm in Firefox. You do not have to, of course, do the research and have both browsers open at the same time. But um, if you're in Chrome in two different accounts, it can sometimes get a little convoluted, even though, again, they're two different accounts. So I'm going to use Chrome for my research on Collective 2. And again, I am logged in on my pro plan using Firefox. OK, so over here on Collective 2, if your most pro plan members are relatively familiar with the strategies over on Collective 2, but um, we're just going to cover a few places where you can actually do research and make a determination as to strategies that you might want to make available on your professional plan. So I'm going to go over here to find strategy on the left hand side. And you'll see that I'm actually looking at something that we call the grid. Now I got to the grid because I had navigated here previously. The default view when you click on find strategy is the leaderboard. So the leaderboard is a, is a fine place to start. Uh, this is a algorithm that we run that determines the uh, strategies to show here on the leaderboard. And you can look at the various columns. You can sort by columns in terms of the starting unit size, the amount of money that uh, the monthly uh, subscription charge. Uh, we have a thing called the heart attack index. And you can sort by uh, performance in terms of worst drawdown or cumulative return. You also see that it defaults to all right here. And if I wanted to look for just strategies that were futures, I could, uh, I could do that. If I want to do a little bit of a deeper dive, we have what's called the grid. The grid is like an Excel column and row uh, view, which has a variety of different uh, factors and statistics that you can look at. Uh, I won't read them all here, but you can see you know, the age. Sometimes uh, you might want to find a strategy that has more than one year of trade history. You'd put in 365 days with the amount of trades that it's done. Uh, you may or may not have, depending on the browser, a scroll bar here at the top. A little click, a little hint is to actually just click on the area and then you can hit your right or left arrow hopefully on a desktop you want to be doing this on a desktop so you can go over and see all the various columns that are available here so this is another way that you can search for again you have the same you have filters here you could look for strategies that only trade stocks you look at for strategies that only trade options and then you can put in the various criteria that you want here which is the grid the portfolio builder is probably not a great research tool in order to find strategies that you want to resell but you're welcome to click on the portfolio builder and see about combining potential strategies that you might want to offer on your site okay so research uh, using the leaderboard you can do research using the grid 
And we have one other uh, tool that's hidden. It requires a little bit of uh, programming knowledge, but it's good if you have uh, maybe a developer on your on your staff, or if you're aware of how to do some some relatively simple queries. You're going to come to to develop, and you're going to go to Explorer right here. And this is the C2 Explorer. And we have a variety of different queries here, like who trades Facebook, and it'll show you the queries that are available for who trades Facebook. And you can uh, make sense of these queries, and then if you wanted to find strategy to trade Apple or a particular symbol, you could you could do that. You can spend a little time. There's full documentation for the C2 Explorer. That's another way. And then the final uh, suggestion is we've made some enhancements to the search itself. So now you could actually come up to the search, which is always persistent in the top of the page here, and you could just type in gold. And you can see that we have lists for strategies. So strategies that trade gold, I'm going to click on that. And now I have all these strategies that trade gold. We're going to be using similar criteria that you would see on the leaderboard in terms of the strategies that are going to default, of course, are ones that are performing well or at least have positive cumulative return. I could come up here and put in oil. I'll do a search for oil. And again, there's strategies that trade oil. And finally, I could enter a symbol. So if I want to type in AAPL, I could type in AAPL and type that. And let's see if that brings back a list of strategies to trade Apple. Oh, here we go. These are strategies to trade Apple. Instead of the list view, it's showing up right here in uh, in the search view right there. All right. So we've talked about three or four ways that you could actually do the research that you want to uh, to resell a strategy. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just look at this one that came up here for my oil strategies, and I'm going to click on uh, AS Capital. I'm going to also just remember that name, AS Capital. But the better thing to do is always to just have the strategy ID. The strategy ID, if you're not familiar with it, it's right here next to the strategy whenever you're on. It's the nine-digit number whenever you're next to a strategy. I'm going to go and just copy this right here for demonstration purposes and see if I can actually resell this on my site. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Now I'm going to switch back to my professional plan. I'm just going to click on the logo to take me to the leaderboard there, and again, I'm going to click on my gear to get back to my area here. I'm going to select Manage Reselling. And remember, I have in the clipboard the strategy ID. I'm going to search for that strategy ID, and this is very important. This particular strategy right here that says AS Capital, it does not have a little check mark by it. So it has to have a green check mark by it to be available for reselling. This is the green check mark reselling allowed. So if I just start to type in something that starts with uh, the letter A and brings back some results, you can see that all these that are here have a check mark by them. And again, this one that I had popped in does not have a check mark. Now it'll allow me to add it here for the time being. The user interface will allow me to add it here but I'm not going to be able to mark it up or change the name. And for most people, unless they can mark it up, there's not a real reason to be involved in reselling it. Okay. So again, we'll, we'll just type in some stuff here and we'll look at some that come back that are available for resell. All right. So let's give an example. I'm going to add this strategy UVXY trade. Keep in mind that, again, I haven't done research on these. I would have been doing my research over on C2 as we talked about previously. I'm going to go ahead and hit UVXY. You'll see that it comes up. It says that resell is allowed. Now, in order to mark it up or to give it a new name or a new description, I first have to put it available on my site. So I say that's available on my site. And this strategy is $249 a month, not an insignificant price. If I wanted to mark it up, I'm going to add my markup to the 249. So if I'm going to want to mark it at $51, that'll make the price exactly $300. And I'm going to call it VPT UVXY. I'm not going to mess with the description. You'll see, if you didn't notice over here on the right side, it said changes saved. If you're familiar with Google Docs or other uh, applications like that on the web, uh, for many features in this strat on this page, it's auto-saving, so there's no save or submit button that you have to worry about. So I've now added UVXY trade 
to my site, I've marked it up by $51. So what I should see is that this is $300 when I go to my site. Let's go ahead and select that. And sure enough, there it is, VPT UVXY for $300 per month. If I click on the actual strategy, you'll see that I ha it automatically updates with the price error and it's now available uh, available for resell. Important to point out some kind of cool features is that the track record is going to change to reflect the increased uh, increased subscription charge. So if I charge a thousand dollars a month, you would see a different performance than you then would see over on C2 because we're showing what the performance would be for the charge or the price that is made available on the professional plan. Other than that, all the trades are the same. Every trade, every quantity is exactly the same that comes over when the strategy began, the minimum capital, all of the statistics are the same. The changes are just in the, uh, in the performance graph based on the amount of the markup and of course, <clears throat> the name and the price. All right, so that's about a real recap of how you can do resell. So you're going to go to the strategy selection and then the rese uh, manage reselling, but you're also going to have to go over and have an account on Collective2 to do your research. Hopefully that's helpful. You can find out more information about reselling by uh, looking at typing in reselling or resell for pro plan in the help desk if you'd like to find out more information. That's it. This is Rod with C2 reminding you to always trade like you mean it. We'll see you at the next trade video. Thanks.